Oh, my husband looks good, but he ain't the only good looking man on this earth. So don't think I don't see others. But guess what? I don't allow that thing to get down in my spirit where I start desiring and putting myself in position to get with him. And so when you think about it, when you are operating in the flesh, there's no good thing. You will operate and you will walk in adultery, fornication, another sign of the flesh. Oh, you sleeping around and guess what? You are definitely walking in the flesh. Because the Spirit of God is not going to have you to sleep with somebody that ain't your husband. When you think about the works of the flesh, uncleanness, you got lewdness, all this foul crap that we see going on in the world today. I, idolatry. Worshiping something other than God. Some of us worship men. Some of us worship women. Some of us worship our houses. Some of us worship our children. And when you see yourself putting other things before God, then you need to know that you are operating in the flesh. And we don't really like to say it like that. You know, that we're putting somebody else before God. But we do. God showed me that one time in my life when I put somebody before God, and that brother was my God. Let me tell you, God is a jealous God. <laughs> You put somebody before God, you watch what happened. And I tell you, when I got freed and set free from that situation, I said if another man come in my life, he will never go before God. And so even when me and my husband got together, oh, he wasn't walking in the spirit, amen. He was saved like many of us, but he wasn't walking in the spirit. And so when it came down to the things of God, he could not understand why I would not come to church and why I wouldn't go to Bible and Bible study and why was I all into this God? Because you know what? Sometimes when you think you are Mac in the streets and you can get anybody you want, then you got this other brother that you can't compete with named Jesus. <laughs> it makes you say, what's really going on? Amen? And so when he saw that he was no competition to Jesus, it made him say, let me find out and look at him now. He's here today, y'all. Curiosity pulled him into the right thing. Hallelujah. But when you think about it, 